Hello guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to day 20 of 100 days 100 concepts. And today in this video, we'll discuss about pilling bed worth ratio or it's also called as PB ratio. Okay, so first of all, why we'll use this particular ratio? So if you remember corrosion, okay, so corrosion of metals usually can be expressed in terms of electrochemical reactions, right? That means the transfer of electrons from one species to another will be taking place similarly oxidation of metal alloys is also possible okay so usually if we have some metallic plates okay so if we have some metallic plates or metal alloys in some gaseous atmosphere or uh, usually air an oxide layer or usually we call a scale will be formed on the surface Okay, which is usually a problem for many mechanical uh, deformation or mechanical properties so this is usually called oxidation this is also called as my scaling it is called dry corrosion okay so anything is the same so what is that so usually let's say i have a metal okay let me say this is my metal m okay so there will be some oxide layer that is formed over here how it is formed with the help of electrochemical reactions that means there is transfer of electrons okay from metal and the atmosphere of oxygen which we have which will uh, let the particular oxidation reaction take place at this particular surface okay so this is basically is what is oxidation uh, or scaling so we usually can classify the scales okay scale types so usually can classify the scale types using the rate of oxidation that means how this particular thickness is increasing or the rate at which this film thickness is increasing right so this can easily be explained okay how the rate of this thickness is increasing can easily be explained by my pb ratio or pilling bedworth ratio Right, so what is this? So basically, PB ratio is nothing but the ratio of the volumes. That means the volume of oxide divided by the volume of my metal that is consumed. That is consumed to form my oxide. Okay, so you can uh, modify this particular formula in many sense using you know densities and also your molecular weights right so you can do that always now what are the different types let's say if pb ratio is less than one okay so let me write pb less than one okay so if the ratio is less than one that means the oxide layer or the oxide uh, you know whatever it is formed on the surface will be porous okay so the oxide layer will be porous and it is obviously unprotective okay so sometimes uh, this thin oxide layer can act as a protective layer to stop the further corrosion or the oxidation to take place okay but here in this particular case if pb is 1 that means the volume of metal oxide relative to its you know the metal present is very very less that means the oxide is not properly spread out so it is an unprotected porous layer similarly if the ratio is greater than one let's say the ratio is about okay otherwise i'll just do it pb is greater than one then it says that you know uh, there will be some compressive stresses okay there will be some compressive stresses because the volume of the oxide that is formed is more so there will be some compressive stresses or you can say residual stresses okay result in the film itself as the film is generated or formed okay so in this you can easily again segregate this if the pb ratio is between or you know greater than 2 to 3 then this uh, whatever layer that is formed will directly crack okay so this layer 
will be cracking off and it will flake out okay or flake off that means the layer which is formed will separate out from the metal piece so what it will do because of this flaking off it will expose newer metal surface for oxidation okay so it will continuously expose newer metal surface for oxidation whereas if you know uh, this is not the case let's say the ideal pb ratio so usually what is the ideal pb ratio ideal pb ratio must be equal to 1 okay so the ideal pb ratio is taken to be unity correct similarly here uh, you can also use some uh, valency terms so what i mean so let's take al2o3 so here you have two al that is there for uh, you know that is involved to form al2o3 so my pb ratio will be what the volume of al2o3 divided by two times the volume of aluminum why remember you have to take the relative volumes that means you have to take the amount of metal that is used to form the oxide okay so this is something you have to remember also there is a previous question i guess a passage based on the same uh, methodology okay so this is something uh, which is used okay to study how my oxidation will be taking place at higher temperatures or in uh, gaseous atmospheres right other than this you can also study the kinetics of this particular okay so kinetics of this particular oxidation can always be studied and usually uh, it is parabolic in nature okay so usually this parabolic in nature let's say w square will be equal to k1t plus k2 that means it is parabolic in nature so w is the weight gain and t is the time okay this is when the oxide layer is non porous and it is very much you know adhering to the metal surface that means it is in a ideal case whereas if pb is less than 1 or let's say if pb is uh, way greater than 1 okay let's say greater than 2 then this can be written as a linear relationship something like this similarly uh, you can also get you know uh, a logarithmic okay you can get a logarithmic relationship when you are uh, you know talking about lower temperatures okay so this is different kinetic uh, ways or you know the kinetics of oxidation to study about so something like this okay where all this k1 k2 etc are the constants right so this is nothing but the other kind of relation or the reaction rate law which is for low temperature or very low thicknesses okay or very thin oxide layers uh let's say if we are telling very low thickness we are telling about less than 100 nanometer okay so this is one more thing so usually an ideal case this is usually my oxidation parabolic law right so i hope you understood about uh, the concept of oxidation where we use pb ratio and some different graphs okay the different relationships for the reaction rate so if you like this video please hit the like button and also share it with all the gate metallurgy aspirants and do subscribe okay do subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever we bring new concept every day right and if you want to take one of the most affordable test series and the video course that we are providing do check out everythingmetallurgy.com right so with this i'll stop for today meet you tomorrow with one more interesting concept thank you guys thank you so much